Well, this week's starters orders qualifiers will complete my obligations for week eight before Leon takes you through the Hunter chases to end the week's racing. And it's two miles and six and a half furlongs this time, nor to 120. And as ever, the hurdle first. And it's Ted Nugent at the top four, Graham Clutterbuck, Jane Bird, and Martin Needham, Ozark, Fizz, Vinnie Gerard, Odyssey, Paul Rhodes, Reckoner, Alex Cherry, Carson's Rocket, Paul Rhodes, Stay Active, David Hooney, Six of Crows, Padre Hogan, Prince B, Kevin Meanhan, Shadow Time, Padre Hogan, Tail for Stu Gray, Princess Alex Cherry, Distant Castle, Obi Wan, Peppy Miletrian for Daniel French, and Native Tongue for Obi Wan. Away and racing then. And off towards the first of the 11 flights in this qualifier. We're getting near the end of the season now, aren't we? Really, with just a few more weeks to go and many more chances to qualify for this final. It's held at Liverpool in the final week of the season and it's Ted Nugent who's got the lead. Over Native Tongue second as they get to the first of the 11. And they're all safely over it, but Six of Crows was a little bit untidy at the back. And at the second, they're all safely over the second, including Six of Crows. And it's Ted Nugent who leads. And Ted Nugent usually likes to bowl along in front. Native Tongue is second. Carson's Rocket third. That's the great. And on the outside of that one is Princess. That's not his record of princesses on the outside of Jane Burden, then Prince B, and then Stay Active and Distant Castle. And we've got Stu Gray's tail, or is it Tarle? I don't know, you never know, it's Stu, it could be. And it's Ted Nugent in the lead. With Native Tongue in second, and Jane Burden is third as they get two to the third. Just then all safely over, and Odyssey and Ozark Fizz have now been relegated to the back. With Ted Nugent bowling along in the lead by four. To Native Tongue in second. As they get over the fourth. Jaden Burden now moves through in a second. Alex Cherry's pair are pretty close up as well. And over the fifth they go. All safely over the fifth. Ted Nugent's lead is down to two lengths now. And Jane Burden on the outside of Native Tongue. Then Prince Ensign Reckoner with... Prince B between them, Carson's Rocket on the inside, and then Distant Castle. The purple jacket is stay active, then the black with a green sash of tail as they go past the winning post then with a complete circuit to go in this Starters Order 6 hurdle qualifier. And it's Ted Nugent in the lead from Native Tongue in second. Then comes Jane Bird, then Reckoner, then Princess, then Prince B, then Carson's Rocket, then Stay Active, then Distant Castles after that, then Tail and Peppy Manetrian, and Six of Crows who's moved forward a little bit. Shadow Time after that one, and then the back two are Ozark, Fizz, and finally Odyssey. It's Ted Nugent in the lead all the way. Continues to bowl along in front for Graham Clutterbuck in his new colours. Native Tongue for Obi Wan in second, then Jane Burden is third, Reckoner on the inside is fourth, then Prince B and Princess. Then some stay active, he's getting closer. Carson's Rocket the Grey has just lost its place and dropped back a little bit. Six of Crows continues to move through the field as they get over flight number six. With Ozark Fizz the back marker, but much closer to the lead than he was previously. And Ted Nugent's lead is three to Native Tongue in second. Jane Burden is third. Reckoner four, Prince B five, Prince Sense six. Then Carlton's Rocket and Stay Active and six of Crows. Distant Castle is there. Odyssey's trying to make some ground up the inside. Tail has just lost its place and dropped towards the rear. Peppy Maletrian is now the back marker. But it's Ted Nugent in front. Ted Nugent. Um, native Tongue over number seven. Oh, safely over number seven. One or two good leaps. Some horses in the pack have put them into stronger positions, and it's Ted Nugent in front over number eight. 
All safely over number eight with Ted Nugent in front. Distant Castle second, Jane Burden third. Native Tongue and Reckoner. Then Prince B stay active. He's after that. Prince Sense is dropping back a little bit. Carson's Rocket still sitting quietly in the middle of the pack with Pepe Maletri and now making a little bit of ground. Coming really wide his tail, but it's D Ted Nugent in the lead. Ted Nugent is still in the lead, been in the lead all the way, two lengths to the good, now Prince B coming through on the outside, Carlson's Rocky to switch to the outside to come through with a challenge as well, also Pepe Maletri and he's absolutely storming up the centre of the pack at the moment, but it's Ted Nugent in front from Prince B, Ted Nugent over to third last in the lead, Prince B jumps it better in second, then Pepe Maletri and a native tongue, Carlson's Rocky stay active, Jane Burden after that, the Alex Cherry horses are both dropping back, but it's Ted Nugent in the lead, Ted Nugent from Prince B stay active, Active. Here comes David Hooley, stay active over the second last. It's Ted Nugent in front, Prince B, stay active. Then Carson's Rocket is between these, then they race down towards the final flight then there. And stay active for David Hooley, who seems to be the top trainer over the hurdles. He's gone into the lead. It's David Hooley in front then with stay active. Stay active is well clear inside the final flight. It's difficult to see anything getting near this one now. And stay active is well clear of Prince B, Carson's Rocket, and a long time leader, Ted Nugent. Prince Sense is running on, but it's stay active who's going to take it and up towards the line stay active a pretty comfortable winner from Prince B second and Ted Nugent Carlson's rocking and Prince Ense and Reckoner and Jane Burden and Six of Crows and Tail and I think Ozark Fizz may have been the last one to finish but that race was put to bed pretty quickly by stay active came through sat quietly for most of the race came through coming towards the final flight jumped into the lead and just stayed there basically and has them pretty well strung out behind, so Stay Active takes it for David Hooley. Prince B, Kevin Meenahan second, Ted Nugent, Graham Clutterbuck third, Carson's Rocket for Paul Rhodes was fourth, and Prince Sense for Alex Cherry was fifth.